And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Nothronychus, which was a request from Dinosaur 4602. So thanks. Nothronychus was a Therizinosaur theropod that lived in the Cretaceous in what is now North America. And that's how you know it was a weird one. It was an herbivore, <laughs> but it was a theropod. All Therizinosaurs are weird. Yeah. It weighed about one ton, and it was bipedal. It walked pretty upright. It had a small head and a beak and four toes on each foot, and all the toes faced forward. It also had leaf-shaped teeth and a long neck, long arms, and three long claws on each hand. Really, really long claws. Yes. Oh, and there was the pot belly, short stumpy legs, and a short tail. <laughs> so very weird. <laughs> but yeah, the claws were about nine inches or 22 centimeters long. And I think that's without the keratin. I think that's just the bone alone. Yeah, very long claws. Nothronychus could eat tough plants, and being a Therizinosaur, Therizinosaurs in general may have had primitive feathers. The type species is Nothronychus mckinleyi, and it was described and named in 2001 by James Kirkland and Douglas Wolfe. There was a second species named in 2009 by Lindsay Zano and others, Nothronychus graphemi, and that was found in the tropic shale of Utah, making it one and a half to three million years older than Nothronychus mckinleyi. Nothronychus graphemi is estimated to be 15 to 20 feet or four and a half to six meters long, and Nothronychus mckinleyi is a little smaller. So Nothronychus mckinleyi was not as robust as Nothronychus graphemi, and its ulna was more bent. The genus name, Nothronychus, means slothful claw. <laughs> and that's because it probably used its large claws to hook branches and eat in a style similar to a sloth. The species name is in honor of Bobby McKinley, the fossils were found on his land. And then Merle Graffin found the second specimen and species in Utah in 2000, which was a large toe bone. Nothronychus was the first Therizinosaurid found in North America. Previously, they'd only been found in China and Mongolia. And Therizinosaurids were herbivores, but many of their relatives were carnivores. Since they were theropods. Mm -hmm. Having the big belly, that meant that it had a large digestive system that's good for digesting vegetation. Yeah, if you want to know what it looks like, there's a really good skeletal drawing by Scott Hartman on SkeletalDrawing.com, and you can see its super weird proportions with that pot belly and short tail and big claws and everything, <laughs> including the proposed length of the claw with the keratin sheath, which is really cool to see. Yeah. So Therizinosaurids are thought to be primitive manoraptors, which is a group that started in Asia and includes Velociraptor. And the discovery of Nothronychus helped show that dinosaurs like Therizinosaurus, which was an herbivorous theropod, were not as rare as people had previously thought. And also that many kinds of Manoraptorans were herbivores or omnivores, and that meant they could travel to new areas and branch out and become a more diverse group. Yeah, maybe Therizinosaurs were omnivorous, and they use those claws every once in a while to just brutally take down some prey. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Yeah, it's possible that the Manoraptor and common ancestor was an herbivore or an omnivore. Lindsay Zano said in a Live Science article in 2009 that, quote, predatory Manoraptor and dinosaurs like Velociraptor must have re-evolved exclusive meat-eating, end quote. So Therizinosaurs had a lot of teeth. They didn't replace their teeth that often. They had the long necks and the small skulls and then large guts. And so all of those characteristics show that they were herbivorous. When Therizinosaurus, which is the first Therizinosaur, was found, it was originally thought to be a giant sea turtle because of its large claws, but it later became known as a Therizinosaurid when more fossils were found and referred, and that included the hind limb and forelimb, which are very unturtle like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow. So Nothronychus mckinleyi was excavated in the early to mid-1990s. It was found in New Mexico near the border of Arizona in the Zuni Basin, the Morena Hill Formation Haystack Butte site, which was around 91 million years ago. The first Nothronychus fossil found was a hip bone, but originally that was thought to be part of the skull crest of the Ceratopsian Zuni Ceratops. So that's not to be confused with Therizinosaurus, different dinosaur thought to be a sea turtle. Nothronychus was thought to be a ceratopsian. <laughs> it's all over the place. Well, weird group. <laughs> so the holotype of Nothronychus includes skull fragments, a brain case, vertebrae, parts of the shoulder girdle, forelimbs, pelvis, and hind limbs. Barry Albright and others excavated Nothronychus graphemi in 2000, and they found about 80% of the skeleton, but it was pretty crushed, and they didn't find a skull. And that makes it reportedly the most complete therizinosaur ever found. 
So it's very important, and it filled in a lot of gaps in our knowledge about Therizinosaur anatomy. Yeah. The Nothronychus graphemi find in Utah was a surprise, too, because that area was known to be under the Western Interior Seaway in the late Cretaceous. So most likely the skeleton was swept out to sea after it died. The shoreline or the land on the Western Interior Seaway was about 60 miles or 100 kilometers away from where Nothronychus graphemi was found. So not surprisingly, Nothronychus graphemi was found in an area with a lot of plesiosaurs and other marine fauna. It's pretty amazing. It made it 60 miles out there and none of those animals ate it. It was still 80% complete after it fossilized. Yeah, but very crushed. Nothronychus mckinleyi was found in an area that included the Ceratopsian Zuniceratops, Hadrosauroid, Hayawadi, Tyrannosaurs, and lots of fossilized wood. I wonder if all that fossilized wood means that it got swept out in some crazy situation that made it hard for anything to really gobble it up. Oh, that was the wrong species. It's Nothronychus graphemi that was with the sea. Nothronychus mckinleyi was with the wood. Oh, gotcha. And you can see Nothronychus graphemi at the Natural History Museum of Utah. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left. <laughs> 